Hello and welcome to today's tech tutorial. Today we're going to walk you through creating those DTD2 tags inside a command. In order to do that, you'll log into your main dashboard, which is located at agent.kw.com. From there, you'll click on the additional navigation down arrow next to your name in the upper right hand corner, and then you click on settings. Once inside the settings homepage, you'll click the down arrow next to command settings, then you'll expand contacts and click on custom tags. That's going to take you to the custom tags homepage. In order to create a new tag, you'll click on create new tag, and I'm going to name the tag, click on Y and Z, and you'll see that I can assign a color if I'd like to. In this case, I'm just going to keep it white, so I'll click the white and create. And then if I'd like to make sure that it was created, I can go to the end of my list and you'll see that Y and Z was created. Now let's go back and attach a tag to one particular contact or a group of contacts all at once. In order to do that, you'll go to your contacts homepage. Let's attach one contact to a tag. In order to do that, I've got to click on the edit button and I'm going to type in B so that the B and E shows up since his last name starts with E. Close that and click Save. And you'll see that now Bill is in the B&E group. Now let's go back to our contacts and add multiple contacts at one time to a tag. In order to do that, I'm going to sort my database by last name. So I'm going to click on the box above the names. Next to name, I'm going to sort by last name from A to Z. So you'll see that now my database is sorted from A to Z. Now in order to add multiple contacts at one time to a tag, I'm going to click the contacts that I'd like to add. I'll go up to select bulk action, click the down arrow, click on add bulk tags. I'm going to add them to A and W. So an A and W shows up, so I click that and submit. And now you'll see that all three of them are attached to the A and W group. Let's say that it's A and W week and I'm calling my A's and W's and I'd like to filter and only see the A's and W's. In order to do that, we'll go back to filters, we'll click on the custom tags, click on A and W, we'll go to the bottom and we'll hit apply. And now you'll see that everyone in the A and W group now shows up on my screen. Now the other thing that we can do is we can go back to those filters and you'll see I'm still filtered by A and W and I can go to the bottom and I can save that as a smart view. I'm going to name that. I'm going to say A and W contacts. I'm going to save that as a smart view. And now when I'm in my contacts home screen, up at the top where it says all contacts, I can click here and scroll down and my A and W group will be there. And it just allows me to see those groups more easily than having to go through the filters. So now I've sorted it by the A and W group and this week I'm calling my A's and W's. So I'm just gonna click on Alicia. This week I reach out, I have a conversation with Alicia and I'd like to take some notes about our conversation. So I click on notes. I would click on add note and I can add a note title and maybe it was the purpose of my call, maybe it was the date of the call, whatever it is, add some notes about that conversation and then I would click save. And that my friends is how you create those DTD2 tags inside command. Happy tagging!